Hello and welcome to the CIA Corner here on TAF TV. My name is Obed Jerry, your co-host for today. And you know what we do here. Here we make commentaries, investigations, and analysis on topical issues. You out there can also be a part of this show. If you have anything that you have to add to what has been discussed here, like whatever we say here, and you have a counter opinion, or you have anything to chip into what you say here, please do not hesitate to drop your comments in our comment sections. Please subscribe to our, our channel if you are yet to subscribe. Turn on your notification button and connect with us across all our social media platforms. So don't drop videos like this. Our notifications will pop in and you receive it. Well, today, as we've been doing, we want to look into a very crucial story. This about the Naira mutilation issue that has been making rounds in Nigeria. We could see that just in recent times, just a few days ago, we could see that some persons have been used as scapegoat to set as example for the rest Nigerians that have been mutilating the Naira. Well, let's go for a very quick break. When we come back, we we'll look into the story properly. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back from that very quick break. Uh, yes, like I said, about the Naira mutilation issue. Well, in Nigeria, most persons might not know, while the majority might know, the Naira mutilation is a very, um, very grave offense to commit in Nigeria. Um, the CBN Act states that you should not squeeze the Naira, step on it, dance on it, rumple it, or spray the Naira, that thereby abusing it. Well, Many Nigerians are guilty of this. Many Nigerians are guilty of it. If we go to birthdays, parties, weddings, clubs, and different kinds of events that you could mention, we could see that many persons will come out, okay, and be spraying money on either on the celebrant, on drinks, and all what not. Some persons will be dancing, especially on weddings. Some persons will be dancing on it. The bride, the groom will be making merry on top of our Naira. And this is bringing an issue to us Nigerians and to the CBN. The CBN now is complaining that just in recent times, in less than four, four years ago, they've spent over 281 million Naira just to reprint the Naira. Okay, we, we know that when um, the money, when we get mint new Naira notes, when they spray it during weddings, when they step on it, it gets old, squeezed and bad then at the end what most of us will do we'll gather these sports um naira currency we we'll pack it to the banks the banks will then in turn give it to the central bank the central bank would either trash it recycle it and make new ones thereby running into huge loss the naira is the our naira note is made of good quality and it's speculated to last at least five to seven years but this mutilation issue this um spraying the naira dancing on the naira is making the naira last more less than one year imagine um uh, producing this naira note and next year you produce that same amount of money just because of the mistakes that we nigerians are making now the cbn is taking it upon themselves and working with the efcc and all other um all other bodies involved to tame and catch those persons perpetrators that are guilty of this act of naira mutilation just last week we could see that Bobriski, the, um, the Nigerian crossdresser, was guilty of this offense and he was charged to court. He was arrested, charged to court. And after everything, the court arraignment um, in the Federal High Court in Lagos, we could see that he pleaded guilty and was sentenced to six months imprisonment. Well, some um, netizens came out to complain, talk about um, why doing it to, um, because he is a crossdresser, they were feeling like it's a biased thing, while some persons are saying, okay, it's a good start, it's a good start for this person to stop mutilating the Naira. When we see that some persons are being used as example, some persons are being punished for this offense, then we know that truly this is a very serious issue. And remember that the CBN um, stated that in February that they are taking this issue very serious, this Naira mutilation issue very serious, and they, they will bring every person that is spraying the Naira, selling the Naira, dancing on the Naira, stepping on it, and even squeezing it, they will bring them to book, they will face the, the, the tune of the law. And just a few days ago, we could see also that these entertainer, 
a, a celebrity also, Kubana Chief Priest, was also arrested by the EFCC after arrested. He was arraigned to court also to face this same trial that um, Bobrinsky faced and all of, that, all of that persons that have been arrested for this same offense. Actually, he pleaded not guilty, stating that, okay, for the time being, for these recent times, in the span of one to two weeks, he has not been seen anywhere mutilating the Nera, he that thereby not being guilty of this offense. And after the trial and everything, the, the court uh, made a verdict um, to state that he is to pay a fine of 10 million Naira. Well, some persons are saying that it is. It seems like a bias, making one person face um, the punishment of serving a jail term, while the other person is allowed to pay fine. We know how Nigerians always want to bring emotion, tribalism, and nepotism into every issue. Now we are not even looking at the the good part of them punishing these persons that are mutilating the Naira Deb so that to save us from unnecessary expenses and unnecessary issues that would come up in times to come. If they set these persons as, as example, punish these celebrities, they would not, many persons will learn and take corrections of not wanting to mutilate the Naira again. But on my own honest opinion, my take on this is that since the federal government, since the CBN, since the EFCC and all other security bodies are up about this same issue, they should keep up this same energy. Like, they should keep up the same energy. Do not um, be biased about it. If you want to arrest, if you want to arrange people to court, arrest both the low and the highs because some persons are claiming, netizens are saying that there have been times when politicians, celebrities, and even top tier monarchs in different communities, they've seen when, when they are campaigning, when they are making um, merry, they would spray the Naira. We, we, we saw video clips of different um, monarchs, different politicians when they are campaigning for positions. They would spray the Naira to, um, people, on the, to people on the streets to draw their attention, to convince them to vote vote for them. And someone even um, uploaded a clip of the former president, Buhari's daughter, where they were having a birthday party and they were spraying the Naira. Well, that is another thing to look out to, but let's say that has that should be kept aside because it was done maybe years ago. Let's say the, the EFCC, the CBN is going about these persons still mutilating the Naira at this point, this year, and this era in time. Now, another angle that we should look into is also defining and the punishment attached to mutilating the Naira. Because according to the CBN Act of 2007, Section 20 and Section 21 states that whoever dances on the Naira, mutilates it, squeezes it, sprays it, trades it for um, maybe set the way these mint people do on the roadside, they sell this money to um, have benefit. Then these monies are then in turn sprayed in clubs, in weddings and all whatnot. So whoever um, violates this rule of the Naira order, that they would face a jail term of six months. That is what was accorded to Bobriski. Now, or they would pay a fine of 50,000 Naira or they would have to face both of them, maybe still paying the fine and then serving the jail term. But some persons would ask that why was Kubana chief priest then given 10 million, granted 10 million era bail, unlike the 50,000 era that was accorded? Is it because he is rich and he has that kind of amount to pay? Or is it because he is paying for other times, maybe the past times, maybe the calculated 50,000 era, according to the number of times in which they found out that he mutilated the Naira? Well, we leave that one for the courts to decide but another crucial angle to look into is if the court, if the CBN, if the federal government, if the EFCC body knows that they want to they want to stop this Naira mutilation by arresting people that are guilty and prosecuting them accordingly, they should do it consistently without bias. If you know these persons, if you know this number of persons that have mutilated the Naira, arrest all of them rather than selecting, okay, we want to arrest this person and arrest this other person, maybe because of different um, reasons best known to them. Because if you start doing it one-sidedly, some persons would feel free, okay, they are above the law, they would want to feel like they are above the law. And then another thing is, knowing, uh, putting a step amount for the violation of this rule as a fine. If this person, okay, doesn't meet up to um, serving this jail term, if the person is not de deserving of the six months jail term, then a speculated amount as stated by the CBN 2007 Act that, okay, this person should pay this fine of 50,000 naira. If the 50,000 naira fine is not enough, then I, I feel the CBN Act should be amended, maybe amended, maybe the fine amount should be increased. 
if it is necessary. Another important angle to look out for is the aspect of the need for more sensitization because I feel many people do not know that mutilating the Naira is a crime. Like there are channels, there are TV stations, radio stations, big boards. They should sensitize people more about not mutilating the Naira and let them, letting them know that it is a punishable offense by the law. This same way the federal government announces, okay, happy independence, please do your NIN and all of that. They should circulate text messages also to people so that they would know that if you do this same t this uh, mutilation of the Naira, you would be punished. Well, this is where we draw our curtains for today. You out there can also be a part of this show. If you have anything to add to it, please drop your opinions in the comment section. Of course, we would like to hear from you. We'd like to see your thoughts and your reactions as regards this Naira mutilation issue. If you have a suggestion to the federal government, to the FCC and or if you have anything that you want to add to this please drop your comment in the comment section like I said earlier if you are yet to subscribe to our channel please subscribe turn on your notification button and connect with us across all our social media platforms my name is Obed Jerry your co-host for today and this has been the CIA corner here on TAF TV see you next time